What is up guys? Welcome to IDAVI Central channel, I'm Joe Snow. Today I'm going to show you how to compile the Live Mobile device yourself, but also I'm gonna give you the uh, pre-compiled binaries right here, updated for iOS 10.0.2, and of course for Windows. They are here, they're available, you can download them from the description if you don't want to mess with uh, Sidewin or if you don't want to mess with code and something like this. The uh, latest version of Libby Mobile device is available, of course, on GitHub, but it's um, it's available in a project state, so you cannot run it, you need to compile it first. And as you can see, they do update it pretty often, and this one is updated seven hours ago, uh, a day ago, three days ago, 12 days ago, and so on. So, yeah, they do update it pretty often, but you don't need to simply update it over and over and over again every time they release a, uh, a new comment on uh, GitHub because not every update is important. What actually interests you is being able to restore your device. Therefore, you should only update the Libby mobile device once in a while and the iDevice restore part. So, at first, I'm going to show you the uh, binaries. You probably know that the uh, the Libby mobile device uh, used to get broken when iOS 10.0.2 was released. Nobody was able to restore not even the original firmware, not not even the untouched IPSW because they get an um, ASR error for some reason on the official Apple uh, firmware, not on custom-made firmware, just official firmware for some reason. Now this new build actually fixed the uh, issue and you can now restore through Libby mobile device. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a couple of seconds. So, at first I'm going to uh, call this folder to show you. We see we do have a uh, device restore. So uh, we need to take your or unique device ID. After you, after you got your unique device ID, prove red snow, prove whatever you want, or from directly from the uh, control panel, you can call uh, iDevice Restore again. You paste the long number, then simply drag the IPSW. Remember, this is not a modified IPSW. This is the official downloaded um, iOS 10.0.2 for iPhone 5.2, I think. Yeah, for iPhone 5, 5.2. So we're going to try to update it via this, uh, this method and we're going to see if Libby mobile device is broken or not. So keep in mind that uh, the previous version was uh, broken on iOS 10.1 and sorry 10.1, 10.0.1 and 10.0.2 when uh, trying to restore even the uh, original firmware with ASR error. You always got that. So we're going to see if it's fixed now. Okay, I'm gonna be back when it extracts because there is no point into waiting that much. Okay, you can see it's entering recovery. Okay, sending IBEC. Okay, we no longer get the IBEC error. So uh, on the previous version, there was something pretty strange. Uh, it gave an IBEC error, cannot send IBEC or something like this. This usually happens when you're trying to uh, push a uh, firmware that has mm -hmm. the IBEC component modified uh, or the IBSS one and or the RAM disk and you don't have an exploit for that but the strangest part is that that thing kept popping and you used the normal firmware that is pretty much strange but they apparently fixed that on this version so this is why it's important if you use this program to update it okay this is the um, actually the, the checking file system part but this is not where it actually hangs we're going to get it later Okay, there are a couple of validations and so on, but this is where it actually failed with ASR error on official firmware on the previous version. And now, as you can see, it doesn't seem to be failing anymore. We're going to see. Okay, so it finally skipped with done sending file system, verifying restores and so on. So no longer ASR errors on the official restores, which means that they finally fixed it the live mobile device for iOS 10.0.2. Now, the only caveat on this um, program is that you have to compile it yourself. If nobody like me on YouTube provides you a link with the binaries, as I do now in the description, then you kind of have to do it yourself, which is a mix of feelings when you're trying to use Sidewind to build this thing. It uses a lot of libraries, it uses a lot of 
uh, links and a lot of components that you need to have, that you need to make sure you have on your computer before starting. And if you don't, you get a couple of errors that you've never seen before. So building this thing is extremely hard if you don't, especially don't know how to use Cygwin or um, MinGW or if you don't know about imports, linking and so on. So I'm going to get into it in a couple of seconds. But as you can see, the phone had restored almost completely with this version, so definitely get it from the description. Now, uh, keep in mind, this version is already uh, on the uh, backbone of the Firmware Manager X that I released yesterday, so there is no issue with that. You can use Firmware Manager if you don't like command prompt applications, you can simply restore using Firmware Manager. You go here to Firmware Restore, select the IPSW, the Unix device ID, select what kind of restore, erase will delete everything, update will not, and click start process. I mean, if you don't like CMD, that's all okay. I made that application for you. Now it says done and it's clearly done. It did it. Great, so now we know it works. You can download it. Uh, but how you can compile it yourself? Well, good question. I'm going to get a little bit into it. You need to go to the um, GitHub, to their project page right here, link is in the description. Get, at first get the Libby mobile device and clone or download. Click to download the uh, zip file, which shouldn't take a lot, but will do take a little bit. Okay. And I guess this is it. I mean, okay. We can now extract the basic folder from here. And uh, now before you install Cygwin, keep in mind that Lightly Mobile device has a couple of uh, requirements. And I made this batch file right here to download them automatically and install them on a computer. If you don't have these components, for example, the autoconfig, automake, bison, GCC, uh, PKG, Libby, con, and so on, you can see there are a lot of packages right here. You will get a couple of errors and you don't want to mess with them. As I say, there's a couple of um, feelings of mixes between anger and happiness when you're trying to build this thing. You, you get errors when you think you will never. Okay, so you need to go in Cygwin if you want and simply get the content of my bat file and put it right here. It will save you from a lot of things. And you need to have the setup um, 86, the uh, packages from um, where you installed Cygwin. Now I'm speaking with people who know what Cygwin is. If you don't and you never heard of this program, you just don't mess with it. Just take the binaries, okay? And you need to simply open SciDL bat. It will start the setup automatically using my script and it will start downloading exactly the packages you need. But at first, make sure you do have Cygwin installed with the basic packages that it came from the factory. So after you installed everything, I'm going to let the uh, batch file in the description, probably in a paste. Uh, you need to open a, this terminal file, it gives you a terminal file, and it looks like this. Now cd into the uh, directory of this Libby mobile device thing, and you are here. Now you need to dot slash autogen dot sh, uh, auto, autogen. And it will start the process automatically just in case you do have all the packages, so make sure you do have all the packs and it will start uh, building everything automatically. From this point, everything is automatic. And I know it sounds uh, pretty simple, just a command and you're good to go. But it's not that uh, simple because you need to make sure you have a couple of packs. Sometimes it doesn't simply recommend you to uh, use that path. So you need to change the paths between the packs. Um, for example, I needed OpenSSL, which wasn't uh, uh, here I had to download all these headers for C and C++ apps and put it here exactly on this path because uh, Livey Mobile device actually searches for that thing on its components. So it's pretty hard to do it if you don't have all the components, so try it. But if you get any errors, just leave it because it's extremely hard to debug it. Sometimes it can be extremely buggy and tells you that you don't have a couple of files when you do have them in that folder. But the problem is that your compiler, uh, if you use CLang or any other compiler, is not able to recognize that folder for some reason. So you have to hard code it into the uh, imports and so on. So 
just in case you know how Cygwin works, you should start uh, doing these things yourself. If you don't, just leave it. I, I mean, as you can see, no package live USB Max found. Now, I need to make sure I have that pack, so if I don't, I need to install it and so on. In order to install it, you need to go here where you, um, uh, sorry, where you had the um, CyDL file and add through the packages that USB uh, maxed. But this is the basic idea behind that. I don't know how come I don't have it because I built that thing a couple of uh, minutes ago. Anyways, my Cygwin can be extremely buggy as I said, so I don't recommend you messing with it. But this is how you do it. I mean, you asked about how you can build it simply this way. You simply CD into this folder where you have the project and dot slash autogen.sh and the process will start. It will build automatically, but the uh, the project itself requires a couple of uh, other files that you don't have and you need to download them from various sources. And don't get me wrong, but it would make a video of 30 or 40 minutes to show you exactly where to get all the packs because they are located in various locations. You have to find them yourself. So just stick with the binaries I provide you. So get them from the description, uh, give this channel a subscribe to stay updated on iOS related stuff, uh, give this video a thumb up if you appreciate my um, effort to create this, uh, to compile and create these files and till the next time tell me in the comment section down below if you have any questions and peace out!